Nine Nails Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rebuild a double carton drive shaft. Now this drive shaft is out of my 2007 Dodge Ram 2500. It's pretty much the same process for just about all double carton drive shafts. First things first, we're going to mark the drive shaft so we assemble it exactly the same way we took it apart. This particular drive shaft doesn't have clips that hold the U-joint in place. It actually has a plastic-like material and it's injected inside here and that's what holds the U-joint in place. So all you need to remove it is a propane torch. So there you have it, we got everything completely disassembled and we got a better look at the inside of this carding joint here, see what was going on. This uh, centering ball here is what it's called, actually popped out and uh, it wasn't even in there tight. So that is supposed to be pressed in there and it should be sitting down about flush. And then there's a seal that goes on top of that, I believe it's right there maybe. And it sits on that ball to keep dust and stuff out of there. But that was just hanging out loose in there. And then also, if we come over here, this is our centering pin right here. You can see we got grooves and, and wear in there. This pin is shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this whole yoke right here. I got a quote from the local machine shop to have this yoke cut off and have a new yoke welded on. And it's about 60 bucks is what they said. So I am gonna bring it there. I'm gonna order the new yoke, gonna order the new U-joints, new centering ball and uh, then we'll throw everything back together. So here we are a few days later and we got some of our parts in. We got our centering ball right here from Wonderful Summit Racing and Spicer Part. Looks good. And we also got our centering pin yoke right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, head over to our local machine shop and have them cut the old one off. They're gonna put it on a lathe and spin it and uh, get this old one cut off, get that surface nice and flush, and then they'll weld the new one on. So we're gonna head over there right now, and I'll show you when it's done. All right, so there you have it. We got the drop shaft back from the machine shop. We got the new yoke put on there. That cost $60 to have the old one cut off and have this one TIG welded on there. It looks really good. We got everything all cleaned up, painted, and we cleaned up where all the U-joint end caps go with a little uh, sanding tool. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this back U-joint in right now. So now we're to the point where we have to put our new centering ball into our old yoke here. So the old one, like I said uh, earlier, it just fell right out. So uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I sure can't feel it. There's a heck of a lot of play in there. Um, but an easy way to put the new one in is to take a die grinder and cut this old seat off of here. And then we can put it on top of there and tap it in with a mallet and then uh, we'll put our new seal on top.
Make sure it's all wiped out and clean so we don't contaminate our new centering ball. Take that, set it in there, and tap it in there. Now we'll put our new seal around our ball. So when you're tapping the ball in with its bearing race right here, you wanna make sure you tap it all the way in until it stops. And then also the same with the seal. The seal sits right on top of the seat. You also wanna make sure you keep this white cap in here at all times. There's needle bearings on the inside of here, so you wanna make sure not to damage them or uh, dislodge them. So you wanna keep that in there until you're ready to assemble it. So now all we have left to do is throw our frontal U-joint in. It is a Moog. I had to run to the parts store and grab it. They didn't have any Spicer U-joints because the Spicer U-joint that I got from Amazon, um, we got the one and then the other one, it was the right box and the right package, but it had the wrong U-joint in. So I returned that. It's still better than the Chinese stuff that comes in the super cheap drive shaft. So now is the most difficult part of everything. Um, you have to assemble all of this and put the caps on while you're holding this together, the centering pin right there, into the centering ball. So it's a little bit tricky, but um, I'll show you how I get it done. We'll take this spring out of here and put the spring in our centering pin right there. Go ahead, pull all the caps off of our U-joint to get it ready. So now we'll start the U-joint, we'll put it in to that piece there. And we'll slide the centering pin into position all while we work that U-joint in there, which is the tricky part. So there it is. And after everything's together, of course, with any CV joint, U joint, you want to make sure everything moves freely and it moves freely in all directions. So that one's good and this one's good as well. So there you have it. We're done with our uh, double carton drive shaft and uh, replacement centering ball. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope it helps some of you that were thinking about rebuilding your double carton drive shaft. Like I said, this drive shaft cost me about $250 total with the new uh, centering pin yoke replacement on there and also to have a machine shop welded on and that's three new U-joints and a new Spicer centering ball. So they're all good parts, I know what they are, they're not some Chinese drive shaft off of Amazon. You can get one for about 300 bucks but there's no telling how long it'll last. This drive shaft is the equivalent of buying one for 600 bucks online. So save some money and we got a good reliable drive shaft that's gonna last a long time. Again, thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.